What's up? Jason Breakdown here with Breakdown Fitness, and I'm going to teach you a couple cool doodads when it comes to the squat. I have seen every single ugly squat there is known to man, and I'm here to correct all that so we can get the strength that we desire and the physique changes and muscle activation that we truly need in this superior, superior movement. So I'm going to show you the stretches that we need to get there and what the position even looks like so we can start squatting like some pimps. So here we go. First off, we gotta learn to open up these hips. Everyone's got way too tight hips from sitting down way too long in the classroom, in their office jobs, etc. So, start from the hips. I got one foot forward. I'm gonna take this hand and put it right on top of my foot. Now, from this position, I gotta pry this hip open. I got my foot flat and I'm prying open, trying to feel all this tension up in that glute start to become eliminated. We're gonna give each other about 15 to 20 seconds, more if need be. We are just sitting here until we start to feel change in the tension on our hips. Once we start to feel some subtle changes going on, let's increase that. We're gonna pull away from the body, keeping this tension, but creating more and more torque for me just falling away from the hip. Falling away from the hip, take time until we start to feel change. Now let's switch it up. Same thing, got my hand on top of my foot, I'm creating my pry, 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 15, 20 seconds, open up those hips. Now I'm starting to turn away, create more torque. I want this torque, I want this hip to get nice and loose and open. Now next in line, we got our hip flexors. These guys right up in front that tend to get super duper tight for the same exact reasons. So we gotta put, put, our step, put, put one step forward. We're gonna take our right hip and we're gonna force feed everything forward, boom. We're up and in, I got this hip extended as much as possible, and now with this glute that I got behind here, right, I'm gonna squeeze that sucker tight, trying to create more length. Open up those hip flexors. Same time limit, 10 to 15 seconds. Now I'll switch it up. Next one, we got left hip. I'm pressing everything forward, and I'm taking my glute, squeezing that sucker, engaging that glute, trying to get a nice tight butt through that stretch to open up those hips. Hip extension is what we want. Now. One thing that a lot of people don't know is stiff ankles will actually lead to piss poor squats. So we gotta loosen up these ankle capsules. And I like to do so through the classic downward dog stretch. What I gotta do first, I gotta make sure that my arches are strong. I got strong feet so I get strong ankles. So I'm gonna grip the ground, try and make strong tension underneath the foot. And from there, I start to force and drive my heels down to the ground, creating tension right below that calf and the ankle. And now what you can start to do is start to press these heels together and try and drive the outsides of our ankles to the floor. Heel is clicked in, Wizard of Oz status, drive the outsides of those ankles to the ground. We should feel a little stretch right where that little bony structure is around the side of that ankle. And that's that capsule that we gotta loosen up. So let's try and kind of maneuver around that stretch so we start to feel some change there. And now we're ready to do some squats. So, what we wanna think about Third wheel country chair. We gotta be able to sit comfortably all the way down that hip capsule. I'm gonna show you an example of a squat we don't want so we can see exactly what a good squat will look like. Most people tend to collapse inward when they squat, starting from the ankles, and then it's a domino effect all the way up through the hips. So I don't wanna see us collapsing inward when we're squatting. No matter how wide we think we get our feet, we can still collapse inward, get the slacky tension to where all these hip muscles Coming from the glutes, hip medius, hip flexors, becoming slack, no good. So what we gotta do is create torque in the system by externally rotating the hip. I got strong feet, boom, they look like this, all right? And now I got systematically tension externally going all through up to the hip. So now through our squat, what we gotta do is keep this engaged, where we start, where we finish, and where we end. We gotta keep this external torque going down all the way into the squat. I got tension forcing myself out. Now I'm sitting down in my third wheel country chair, nice and comfortably, and I'm not in slack. Notice, I got tension pulling everything outside, even from the ankles. The ankles are nice and upright. I got my strong arches underneath my feet, and now what we wanna be able to do is be able to sit here comfortably for about 30 seconds. This is how we know if we're truly open or not. Are we sitting here comfortably? Are we sitting here tight? Do I gotta go back through my stretches to get myself opened up a little bit more, etc.? So now just remember, we're starting with the torque, boom. And we're coming down, ending with the good torque, and following through with that good torque. Now we can eliminate a lot of knee pain, back pain, hip pain, any type of pain associated with the squat. And the squat can actually be a very, very therapeutic exercise if we do it correctly. So 
Don't let me see you squat like a jackass now, please.